Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodread Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is required reading that you actually enjoyed. Bit of a brain scratcher this one. Not because I can't think of any that I actually enjoyed, but because it's been a long time since I last had required reading. So it took me a while to work out which books were required reading and which books were books by the same authors that I chose to read. So that kind of answers the question that if there were books by the same authors that I chose to read, because I didn't have, even if I didn't have to, I must have probably enjoyed a reasonable amount of it. So I think first thing, Shakespeare contentious. I tend to come down on the side of not forcing people to read a lot of Shakespeare, but I liked it. Didn't love it, but I liked it. Prefer it performed to read out by 15 year old boys, but I liked it enough when read out in chunks passing around the class that I went on to read more Shakespeare myself. And that, I think, is potentially one of the things that really ignited my love of words, because the language is very clever. The nuances, the hidden meanings, the turn of phrase, and so forth. Comedies less so, because Shakespearean comedy runs the gamut of things to appeal to all audiences because it was a mass entertainment. So there's a little bit too much slapstick and pratfall in Shakespeare, which makes the comedy kind of meh to read because I don't like that to begin with. And reading out someone making fart jokes and then tripping over a stool is kind of boring. But tragedies, histories, liked those particularly The Tempest. Uh, second thing, poetry. I really loved the poetry modules. I still have my copy of The Metaphysical Poets and the Poetry of the Thirties. Since encountering some of Ted Hughes' more adult work in my English A-level, I've gone out and got books of his poetry. A bit of plath. So poetry, loved that. James Joyce, Dubliners, was very pleasant. Portrait of the Artist as a young man. I didn't fully engage with it, I think, as much as I do now, but I enjoyed it enough that I reread it <coughs> and went on to voluntarily read Ulysses. Slightly tripped over page two of Finnegan's Wake, so I haven't completed my Joyce expedition and given up on that, but I liked Joyce enough that I went on to voluntarily read more, so definitely. Brighton Rock went on to read lots of Graham Greene, so again, that spoke to me, even if I didn't enjoy being taught it, per se. Things I... Probably the only thing I can think of that I didn't really enjoy was Edith Wharton. The technical level, it's a great portrayal of the characters and the situation they were in. But I don't really like clothing obsessed women facing social pressure. You know, it's it will speak to me more now because of the nuances of oppression, but when I was in my early teens, I didn't really engage with the issue of 18th century US social pressures on women to the extent that that alone would carry it. So it was a book where I could see they'd done a great job portraying the characters but they didn't engage me. 
in the same way that I can see that Fritz Gerald portrays characters very well. He just does a brilliant job of portraying characters I don't want to read about. And similarly, I can see there's a lot of technical skill in Premiership football, but it doesn't engage me, so I don't watch it. So I wouldn't say I enjoyed Wharton. But, uh, so that's it. Bit of a word nerd, bit of a book nerd. Enjoyed most of my required reading and I probably missed out a whole chunk of stuff. There'll be things that obviously I've forgotten, which means that I didn't really enjoy them, but I can't think of what they are, so I obviously didn't really hate them either. But the things I've still got, umpty tump years after leaving school and have carried with me from house to house, and have survived through umpteen going through the shelves to donate books I don't really read to charity shops, metaphysical poets, poetry of the thirties, my Ted Hughes. So really solid thing there is the poetry section. That's the bit I really loved. Can't write that well. I'd love to, but I can't. But reading poetry still really gets me. Toodaloo.